Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Eugene, I'm a senior iOS developer, and today I would like to talk about feeling stuck, and specifically in your learning journey. Feeling stuck in your learning journey. And what do I mean by that is when Sometimes you like you you start learning something and you start learning fundamentals and you follow tutorials and like maybe you learn or finish a hundred day with Swift UI and stuff like that and you over the elementary stuff and maybe you build like a few apps or finish a few a few tutorials but you're not still making mobile apps by yourself you can't put it together. You can't put it together. So what is that? And how to get out of this uh, funk? So first of all, let's break it down. Let's break it down. First of all, it is totally normal that nothing, like that after you finish a number of tutorials and now you can put it together, it's, it is completely normal. Why? Because creators for tutorials, they were solving a problem. They, they come up with a problem and they solve a problem. That's it. And yes, they learn, they use specific techniques to solve a specific problem that they come up with. And you learn specific techniques for the problem that they come up with. So like, what do you need to do as number one, come up with a problem. What do you like to solve? What do you like to do? Like, I don't know, notes? Like, do you want to make note app? Do you want to do to-do app? Do you want to make, uh, I don't know, location-based app to uh, keep journal of your favorite restaurants? Uh, what have you, whatever. Do you want to make a weather app, like with better weather API? Whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do. So solve your problem. And uh, the second thing that you need to do, you might like have an idea, like you might have a problem to solve, but you don't know how to apply that knowledge that you learn from your tutorials. And that's okay, because uh, for your problem, you can take the code for your tutorials that you finished before and apply it to your problem, repurpose the code. And I'm going to tell you the biggest secret right now. The biggest secret right now. Like, uh, I'm, an, I, I'm a senior iOS developer. And when I'm solving a problem, I first of all, I'm searching either in my code base or on Stack Overflow or whatever, or on the internet, if someone else had a similar problem and how they solved it. And see if there is a if there is a way for me already existed to solve that problem. Sometimes I find answers in my code base in my application that I'm working on. Uh, sometimes I find answers online, and I just have to like repurpose and refactor the code that I got from uh, Stack Overflow or uh, forums or whatever or articles or like on the GitHub. But sometimes I need to come up. With a, with a solution on my own. And the way I am able to come up with a solution on my own because in my past experiences, I dealt with similar problems and I work with similar and I copied so, same, so many codes or refactor so many codes uh, or code examples that are very similar or in the same or ha might have the same solution for my problem that now I can um, understand the logic and I can uh, repurpose that knowledge from my past experiences and come up with something completely new. So this is another way. But if you're starting out, the best way to get out of that funk is to grab the code that you already have for from your tutorial and apply for the same problem like that you are trying to solve and you know like the better yet a lot a better yet problem to solve is exactly the same or similar problem that your content creator or course creator was trying to solve create similar app if not the same 
want to create the app that solves the same problem with different UI. Just modify the UI, whatever, money, well, how, however you want it to do. And it's totally fine if you copy the code first. So here it is. And uh, the more you do it, the more you do it, the more you start modifying the code that you already know, the more ideas you're going to get, the more uh, thoughts you're going to get. Oh, and as soon as it starts working and as soon as you like see like that new modifications are working, you start creating something new based on the knowledge that you already have. So don't worry if you can open Xcode and just type out and create an app, simple app without any help or without looking at the code or without copying the code from some somewhere else and it's completely normal so i have a program for ios developers or people who would like to transition to ios development um, i initially this for like this program was is focused on qa engineers who would like to pivot to ios development but it's really for like anybody who has like uh, some sort of foundation of iOS development or already in tech and uh, would like to transition to iOS development. So like, if you have fundamentals of iOS development or like you maybe were taking some of the tutorials, uh, that's that that's absolutely perfect. This is that, that's absolutely perfect. If you don't, it's an individual individualized program as long as you have background in tech. You have to have a background in tech because it's really hard to teach somebody from absolutely like from with, like who is not familiar with tech whatsoever. If you have a background in tech, like schedule an appointment, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. So I'm not taking people from absolutely nothing from zero as of right now. Like as of right now, I'm working with my tech professionals or with people who already have the basic foundation of iOS development or like we're taking courses, we're like learning by themselves and now they have to do like they have to be at the final stage like to finish it. So that, that, that that's my audience. So schedule an appointment because uh, my program, I'm working on real applications available in the app store that belong to two different businesses. One is a, a agency, programming agency, uh, like programming body job. So they help and work with small businesses to deliver them mobile apps. Another uh, company is a wellness company and they need to create an app for meditation or like they like uh, they need to create an app for meditation and also it's like a, an alarm app in a way. So like they will sing a signal when meditation or like certain period of time like countdown timer is up. So like the, the sound will sound and that sound will be a regional sound from uh, the uh, from it uh, from a Temple that they're working with. So, um, and at the end of the program, they will give you references, like real references. Say, hey, like yes, that person work on my app. Yes, that person contributed to my app. Whatever. So, and like you will be able to talk about it on your uh, interview as well. So, uh, I'll also, you have two one on ones per week with me where we work on your tasks. So, normally, the first one on one is where we decide what we're going to work on, and uh, I'm, I'm explaining to you how the best ways it, it needs to be done. I'm not giving you exact solution because I want you to come up with a solution on your own. So like I, I'm giving you hints or I'm explaining you the ways you can implement it. And no worries, like I record those sessions and I will send you private links. So it's, it's a private video. So like you can review it, like if, so you can refresh your memory when you solve me those problems. So in the second uh, uh, lesson, uh, we gonna meet up and we're gonna talk about your implementation. I'm gonna do code review. And also, as you are working on real application, we will be covering very deep um, topics uh, that I outlined in my mini course. And mini course link is in information for this video. So link information for this video and click for, uh, on mini course. So if you're interested, schedule an appointment with me and we will talk. Um, also, uh, if you would like to 
but learn more or see the mini course, the link for the mini course for the sample course is for the description for this video. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And um, if you're new to my channel and if you're into iOS development, subscribe to my channel uh, because I talk about iOS development and career development like all the time. So like stay tuned. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye y'all.